Yo, so you see it, man. Look, I'm not wanting to kick people while they down, but you see the numbers. Sexy Red is about to cancel her tour, her summer tour, because only 37% of the tickets of 87, 85,000 have been sold. And that's not for one show. It's not like she was trying to sell out a stadium. That's for the entire tour, 37%. And people say, well, let's just get the excuses out of the way. Well, half her crowd is on Section 8. Well, well I, you don't think it was Section 8 princesses at the Beyonce show last summer? Oh, man, Beyonce did three shows in Atlanta. We, we, Beyonce got plenty of these girls' money because she's doing performances. She's doing choreography and all of that good stuff. It's a spectacle. Even the brokest people will find money to go see a, a, a well-liked show. People know what's a show. And these artists need to understand when you're doing these performances on TV for the first time, rather it's the BET Awards, MTV, any award show, that is your preview of a sample of what it's like to see you in concert. So when I see you and you look lazy, in her case, every time I've seen her perform, she's offbeat, she looks impaired, she looks high, she looks incoherent, she looks uninterested, she looks lazy. Why would I want to pay to go see that, even if I was a fan? You got to think like that. And a lot of these artists come across very lazy when they perform on TV. And then you wonder why every time you turn around, some of these young artists under 30 got to cancel shows. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, Meg Thee Stallion had to cancel a few shows because she couldn't sell out. Now, the older rappers and artists, they don't seem to have this issue. You know, because it's inflated at times where end, people are going to pay money to go see the real performance. I mean, you got people like Frankie Beverly and Mays are like 80 years old out here still selling out venues. You know what I mean? The legends don't don't have these issues. But like I say, social media is not real. So Sexy Red was a product of social media. Nobody came to St. Louis to find her. She was a TikTok star and hip hop pushed her. But it's only but so much substance she has and it's only but so much you can go with it. That's why at some point, you know, as, as annoying as she is, I'm like, you know what? This girl only going to be around for a cup of coffee and then we're going to say bye take care brush your hair she ain't going to be around long so you might as well get your 15 minutes in honey and, and do your promo she was on wwe tv she's been everywhere but it's social media like i say it's not real that's why you see when you look at these shows the a-list stars are not showing up it's a bunch of social media comedians and popular people on youtube and social media rappers these people don't have that same kind of prestige and mystique when you see them on the red carpet. It don't come across the same, man. And that's what she is. And it's not just her. It's a lot of them. You know, she was at, uh, like I say, Hot 97, Summer Jam, which used to be a giant stadium. They do it at the UBS Arena in Long Island. Sexy Red and Doja Cat headlined that show, and it was 40% off, and they still could not sell out an 11,000 venue, a venue that holds a little over 11,000. So the the money, the proof is in the pudding. Like these these the social media stuff, it's works online. The clicks and likes, people defend it and they say, Well, she just being herself and they, but are y'all going to her shows? No. Are y'all paying to see her? No. Are y'all really supporting it? No. I said the same thing with Angel Reese. If the black people that really support Angel Reese on social media tuned out and was watching the games and all of that caitlin clark who you wouldn't be hearing about caitlin clark uh numbers and ratings it's a lot of people who support here on social media but that support don't translate in real life and these social media stars you got some of the biggest uh comedians on instagram i've been following for years still can't get off the front porch and actually do something in hollywood or really go viral beyond just instagram it's like they stuck in that portal you know, not to drop names, but you know, you everyone knows some of these cats that have been doing it on big, big on social media for years. It's like, damn, why they can't get in no real comedy shows or no real movies? Or, it's it's not real. It's not. It's his own world of its own. On social media, it's, she's a beggar star. You know, she she is Beyonce on social media, <laughs> but in real life, <clears throat> she you know, she ain't sexy. And the people ain't paying to see that. I'm just, they not. There's something to laugh at online. There's something to, you know, uh, 
have a conversation with, but it's not something people take serious uh, to spend money. You know, Essence Fest was just this weekend. You had Jada kissing them down there. Buster was down there cussing out the crowd. Had a lot of stars. You know, people pay to see real stars who have a catalog. I don't even know what, how many songs this girl got. Three? Four? You know, Doja Cat had four records she performed at Summer Jam. Four. You got to have a bigger catalog to be out here headlining shows. I honestly, I think the way she was booked was bad. They should have had her on some type of joint tour, team her up with Doja Cat or one of these other broads, sex, uh, Meg Thee Stallion, do it that way. Sexy Red is not established enough at this point to be headlining tours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, can you imagine that? You go to New York or something or you see her name at the Madison Square Garden, like the lights, the sign is all lit up, sexy red in concert. Like, I know I sound like I'm hating, but I'm just, it's funny. You know, like that she, she should be opening up for somebody. You know what I mean? She's an opening act with her three or four little cute songs, her little dance. She's not the full course meal. You know what I mean? You, you're the appetizer, sweetie. You're the salad. You're the, the fruit on the side or whatever. You're not the full course steak, the grizzle with everything on the works. But let me know what y'all think, man. Am I being too hard on her? But yeah, this is a lead. Social media is a, is not real. And these artists that are being propped up, like they're the new, you know, like I don't know. They prop her up like she's the biggest thing since Little Kim. But uh, Little Kim didn't have no problem selling out tours. And she was a headliner. She could do that at any point in her career. Maybe not now. She dances and looks like a little leprechaun. And she dances like a robot. But back then, oh, yeah. So, yeah, 37% sold. They're about to shut this thing down. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs>